What's up everyone, this is Cybernad, and today I'm going to open up the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, deck build pack, Ancient Guardians. So yes, of course, a brand new set that just came out for Japan. I think we already know we're supposed to get this, I want to say either May or June. I, I know it's at least been announced for us, uh, because it is another one of those sets where basically you're getting three different archetypes, like we saw from like Secret Forces, was it Genesis Impactors, I think was the most recent one. And uh, yeah, it's just basically another one of those kind of sets. So I'll crank myself to whenever it's coming out because I'm a little confused on some release dates because of COVID. I know a lot of stuff got pushed back and I don't remember if that was one of those things or not, but I think it was around May is when we were supposed to get this. But anyway, of course, since this is one of those sets, we do have three brand new archetypes, which is the, uh, let's see, they are the Abyss, the uh, Doramicord, and then also the Ursatic. So I, I don't know if I said any of those three correctly because they're kind of interesting names but uh they're kind of all like different puns and stuff too because the first one the abyss ones are like these egyptian looking snakes then uh the uh Durham accord they're the new basically waifu archetype i mean there's always one of those so yeah obviously <laughs> and then the ursatic is uh, basically robot bears which look pretty cool actually i really like the idea behind them i think they're like synchros and stuff too and uh they look really interesting so Let's go ahead, open this up, and uh, see what we get. But first off, too, I got this from uh, Matcha Japan. Check them out. Link in the description. They uh, sent me this to an opening on, so check out their store. They have all kinds of different Yu-Gi-Oh products, some other card games, too, anime stuff, like statues, and I think even plushes and stuff as well. So check them out. They have all kinds of awesome stuff. Big thank you to them for wanting to sponsor my video. And, of course, there will be a link down in the description. And also, they sent me these Zark sleeves, which I think are just awesome. So... Uh, you know what, we're going to give these away, actually, because I think I already have a set of these, so, you know what, just leave a comment on this video, make sure you're subscribed, I can tell, of course, next to your name when you leave a comment, and just uh, give me either your email address, your Instagram account username, or Twitter, that way I can contact you, because I can't contact you through, of course, uh, YouTube, so if you want to win, there you go, it's worldwide, it's not USA only, if you want to win these sleeves, they are really nice, and again, I think I already have a set, so I'm like, you know what, let's give those away, because, uh, yeah, kind of pay it forward, right, and uh, of course, we'll end it, I'll announce it, like, on uh, YouTube, and probably Twitter, and Facebook, and all those places, uh, a week from when this video goes live, because I don't even know when I'm uploading this. So, yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, but basically just leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, just give me a whack and contact you, <laughs> because it can't be through YouTube, okay? And again, not USA only. Anywhere. I don't care where you live. You can see my video. You can enter, okay? And I'll try to get all that shipped out to you guys. I think the mail system is a little bit better now, too, with COVID. Uh, it was kind of harder to do giveaways, especially worldwide. Now it shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It's still, you know, <laughs> it, it's still uh, one of those years, right? Mainly going to name off the hollows and, and rares and stuff. See, I think that's part of, the, yeah, that's part of the Egyptian abyss archetype. They look really cool. It's like Sobek or something. Even got some good reprints. Waifus. And yeah, we already got one of them. It's a, yeah, it is a pendulum archetype, so... There's the card. Let me find the name. I'm going to... Obviously, I don't know the names of these characters yet. Sidoramicord uh, Beauty. So, yeah, interesting. I, I hope I'm saying close enough on these names, too. I Probably not, but I'm trying my best, okay? So, forgive me. I'm probably going to butcher some names today. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Venom card reprints, too, because they go with those new snakes. Oh, you can get her as a common, as well. There's one of the bears... I like their designs. They look really cool. And, oh, we actually got a hollow here. I think this is for the the snakes, if I remember correctly, because I think I remember this card. Yeah, Snake Lily of the Abyss. And, of course, when you're saying Abyss, it has, like, hiss in it, like a snake. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know really how to say that, you know, go with the pun on that, you know? But, yeah, if you didn't put that together, that's why. I, I kind of like those puns, though, too. I make fun of them. Uh, but I kind of like that humor. <laughs> you got me, Konami. Okay. You get a pass. I like the artworks, too, of these. Again, they are kind of the waifu archetypes, so there you go. Although they look kind of young. And I don't know which one this goes with. We'll, we'll find the name real quick. Let's see. Is this... Yeah, this is Emptiness of the Abyss. Okay, so it goes with the snakes. I'll say I wasn't sure which one. Kind of has that Shatterfoil dual terminal look. They get that. I think, though, I don't remember if this is going to be where it's one of those sets where it's all holographic or if it's supposed to have collector's rares like we saw with Genesis Impactors. 
I kind of think for some reason it's supposed to be like Genesis Impactors for us. But don't quote me on it because I'm not 100% sure. Oh, another one of the bears. Then. Oh, we got, uh, yeah, King of the Feral Imps. Okay, I wanted to double check myself because I wasn't sure on the name. I know we have this guy. We've had it for a while. But uh, it has been a while since I've seen it, too. Yeah, and Snake's Rain is supposed to be in this, too. I think that was a card that everyone was really... Uh, like it was, well, there you go, actually. We just got it. I think that was one that was getting really expensive, though, for Tactical Evolution. Because of the new snakes. And, oh, there, oh, we got the main one. He looks really cool. I, I love his design. What's the name of this dude? Because he's, of course, our cover card for the snakes. It is, uh, oh, I'm going to try my best. <laughs> uh, Ogdobis, a deity of the abyss. Okay. <laughs> Interesting names, again, very sorry. But that looks Awesome. I mean, I always like the Egyptian look to a lot of cards anyway. I think that's one of the main reasons I got into Yu-Gi-Oh, honestly. Because in olden days, it was mainly about that. But, uh, yeah, they look awesome. Like this whole archetype. I like that one, though. Let's see, what else? Another one of the girls. A bear. <laughs> I do like their artwork, though. They are colorful. And uh, we got that same, I think, yeah, we got him earlier. But uh, this time as like the Shatterfoil. What is the name of this dude? Uh, Ursatek uh, Megapola, I believe. Yeah. They look interesting. They're all about, like I said, synchro summoning and stuff too. Might be fun. I always like synchro archetypes. Looks like that's another one for them. A few more cards. There's a, I think that's Sobek, actually. And here's actually one of the bears. Actually, is a super rare. Okay. Which one is this? Is that the tuner? No, that's not the tuner, then. I was double-checking, because I know they have, like, a tuner monster and stuff, too. Ursatic uh, Mikpola? I think it's how you say that, so... Pretty interesting. Again, I just like their designs. I don't know which one's going to be the expensive archetype, by the way, out of this set. I kind of feel like the bears might be the best one, though. And, oh yeah, uh, Snake Deity, wasn't that the right? I hadn't seen this card in a very long time. Again, it came out with the Venom cards. Offering to the Snake Deity. That's it. That's the full name. I think that's another one that people are hyping up because, you know, uh, of the Snake archetype. But again, I, I'm sure it will be in the set for us, too, like Snake Rain. Maybe we'll even get hollow versions of both of them, too. I don't know. I could see that happening. Collector's rare. <laughs> That'd be cool. Then, there's that other again. I, I want to say his name is Sobex. That's what he reminds me of from Egyptian mythology. Philogy uh, Haze of the Abyss. Okay, so they're not actually named that. Maybe that's kind of what he's supposed to be after, though, like the crocodile. Again, I've played a lot of Smite. I haven't really played it in a long time, actually, but that's what he reminds me of. If you ever played that game, you probably know what I'm talking about. And if not, you probably have no clue what I'm talking about, so... I guess unless you know mythology. Pretty cool looking though, either way. There's the other one. And another one of the snakes, actually. Dang, we're getting like all of them. Uh, let's see, this is the super one. It is uh, Nihil Drag of the Abyss. So, that's another one that looks really cool. He has like the, the lotus flower or whatever. Again, I really like their designs. That might be what I go with is the snakes. Again, I'm not sure which one is technically the strongest, but they just look so cool. Depends how hard things are going to be to get, because these kind of sets over here in English, uh, <laughs> there's usually a card that's really tough to get for each archetype. We'll see. Oh, another one for them. Ah, oh, man, he looks cool, too. Uh, what is your name, sir? And you, Lisa, Queen of the Abyss. Oh, okay, sorry, it's ma'am, I guess, then. <laughs> uh, I wasn't sure, but yeah, evidently it's Queen. Looks really awesome. I like like all the little like snakes that are around her. And I also do kind of like that shatter foil. Again, we won't get that rarity. That would have been awesome. Snake rain. More cards for them. And oh, another super rare for us. I think that's for the Ursatex as well. It is Ursatex Departure. Okay, another super rare for them. 
We're getting just for them and the snakes, not for the not the waifu cards. I was kind of hoping to get the one that looks like the girl uh, Kachin from uh, Genshin Impact. I've been playing that game, and uh, yeah, there's literally a card that looks just like her. So <laughs> I was kind of hoping to get it, but I don't know what rarity it is. Maybe it's a higher rarity. Oh, I was hoping maybe I call it, but no, it's actually another snake card for us. Another one of the abyss. Let's see, this one is Noel Dreg of the Abyss. That looks really awesome. Again, though, I like them. Don't like snakes, but I like the cards, evidently. Yeah, around here, you see any kind of snake. It's usually a rattlesnake, and you shoot it. Just how it goes. Oh, there's another. We haven't really seen too much from, from this archetype. Uh, read Dora McCord Dreamy? I don't know how you pronounce that exactly, but there you go. <laughs> I think that's going to be as good as it gets. I am very sorry. And last pack. Okay, what are we going to end with? Can we end with a hollow? You know, not a shatter foil. I mean an actual hollow. Let's see. I don't even know what else we can get. Robot bear. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. And it looks like, yeah, a shatter foil. Which one is this? Looks like a, actually a trap card for them too, which, uh, again, I hadn't seen a ton for them. It is a Dramacord uh, Musica. So, yeah, <laughs> there we go. That's the unboxing. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Mainly looks like we got the snakes. We got a few of the bears too, but uh, yeah, I hope the snakes are like the main ones that are the best because I didn't really test out any of these archetypes, but I did like their designs the most. So I guess it kind of worked out for me. I don't know, but we'll have to see whenever this is out in English. Uh, the only thing is I feel like I can never say, hey, I'm going to build this, you know, from these kind of sets. Because, again, there's always one card from each archetype that's, like, way more expensive than everything else or really short printed. So I'm hoping that's not the case again for maybe the snake cards or something, if I go with them. But, yeah, just let me know what you guys think about this archetype. Which of the three is your favorite? Which one would you want to build? Like and subscribe. Check out Matcha Japan. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.